Introducing Roland Martin's revolutionary new helicopter lure. Its movement and colors grab the fish's attention. Its sound and scent trigger the strike. Hey there, rednecks, preppies, redneck preppies. It's me, the redneck preppy. How you doing today? Great? Good. Ah, uh, the early to mid-1990s. It was truly a magical time. We had the best music. We had the introduction of Elizabeth Hurley into our mortal world. And many of the finest infomercials ever put the film aired on television. You want to get rich? Quick? No worries. And if they could sell some cheaply made garbage, there was an infomercial for it. Fishing lures were no exception. There was an avalanche of as seen on TV and infomercial lures, which included things like Dance's Eel, the Banjo Minnow, the Walking Worm, the Flying Lure, and a hundred others that I can't even remember today. There was one I was always curious about, but never had the chance to buy at the time. Thanks to the wonderful world of old, new old stock, I will finally be able to say hello to Roland Martin's helicopter lure. If memes had existed back in the early 90s, I have a feeling that the helicopter lure would have been memed pretty damned hard. So what is this infamous example of an infomotional lure? Well, as the name suggests, the helicopter lure had the endorsement of no less than Roland Martin, arguably one of the top five bass anglers of all time. Now the infomercial, which you can watch on YouTube and I've linked to in the description below, breathlessly informed us that the lure was the most versatile in fishing you could use it as a buzz bait, a spinner bait, a jig bait, or as a weedless plastic worm. And if that wasn't amazing enough, it attracted fish through movement, color, and scent. And that scent was provided by no less than the famous Dr. Juice's helicopter scent. I'll be honest, for decades I thought Dr. Juice was something invented for the commercial, but it turns out there actually is a Dr. Juice USA, and he started formulating scents in the late 1970s. Unfortunately, his website today makes no mention of the helicopter scent, so I guess you can't stock up on it if you really fell in love with it back then. So did this magic combination of variables come together to become the fishing sensation that things like Senko worms and umbrella rigs and spy baiting later became? No. By all accounts, the helicopter lure was a piece of garbage. Uh, although it was billed as a multi-dimensional lure, most anglers found that it didn't do any of them particularly well. And that's probably being polite. Turns out that the lure was no banjo minnow with a lifelike movement. Uh, and as you might have guessed, the lure's biggest feature of spinning around like a helicopter created horrendous line twist if you didn't use a swivel. Something that a lot of anglers prefer to avoid with soft plastic presentations. Unlike other TV advertised lures like the banjo minnow and the flying lure, the helicopter lure didn't last very long in the market. Today, the only places that you can find them are on websites like eBay, where you can find boxed lures in an instructional video starring Roland Martin for well over US $100. You can also find them in these four pack blister packs, which I have right here. Now, I've never had the opportunity to check out these lures in person. I only ever saw them in the relentless ad campaigns on TV. So I recently bought three blister packs and for only Canadian $50 because I hate my bank account. One done box here and then at some point this summer to find out if I can actually fish with this. The most revolutionary fishing product since the invention of the hook itself. 
Okay, first of all, my apologies for any glare. Uh, I do have the studio lights on in here, so kind of will be a little bright. At any rate, here's the package, the blister pack of four that I received, one of three packages. As I understand it, the original helicopter lure was sold in a box set where you received 40 of these lures and in different colors. I only got pink. Um, all the hardware like hooks and swivels, weights, and a v VHS tape which showed you how to rig and fish it. So yeah, that's how far back this goes. They were still including VHS tapes. I don't think there was a DVD option. Uh, after a while, they apparently moved to this more affordable blister pack. Uh, you get four lures, as you can see in here. And if you can't see, uh, they graciously provided a single hook, a swivel, and a weight. Now, let's see if these plastics are still supple after a quarter of a century. I'm, I'm actually kind of eager because you know, pl soft plastics don't have a good track record of remaining supple. Wow, yeah, they're actually still pretty good. A little surprised. <laughs> oh, Jesus, and uh, Lord, that Dr. Juice scent is still there. I'm not sure what it's supposed to smell like, uh, but whatever it is, it's there in spades. Uh, our hook, which in the original box set was an eagle claw. It looks to be, I'm guessing that's a five aught. Yeah, five aught. Uh, here's our swivel. I don't know how well you can see that, but it is a basic swivel. Uh, and finally, we have the, oh, here it is, the small, soft lead nail weight. Wow, this thing has seen better days, in fact. Yeah, it's leaving, leaving uh, non-toxic lead all over my hand. In California, it would already be banned. Uh, if you buy one of these, don't be surprised if your lead weight has largely disintegrated into small pieces. Uh, out of the three packages of lures I got, one was completely gone. Another one is well on its way, and well, this one is giving off that fine disintegrating lead dust. I should be wearing a hazmat suit. Uh, finally, we have our rigging instructions. Ooh, this is kind of exciting. I have not looked in this, so I have no idea what we're getting here. Uh, eight steps. Nothing too complicated. Okay, so you're essentially Texas rigging the lure, but with the addition of a swivel on the hook itself. I suppose that's to mitigate the line twist. So maybe that was a later addition. Maybe they didn't include that in the original um, boxed set, because I do remember people saying that, you know, you got a lot of line twist from these. Interesting, though, the instructions don't make any note of the weight itself. I suppose that you're to employ it if you're going to use the lure as a jig. Uh, I imagine that the VHS that originally came uh, with the lure, and I think you can find it on YouTube if you're curious, uh, promised how to show the rig for the different applications. But these instructions really only show you how to use it in its buzzbait, spinnerbait, or weedless form factor. Hmm. I guess I should rig one of these lures up so you can see what it actually looks like. And here you go. I will freely confess, not my finest work. The uh, shaft of the helicopter lure should be a little straighter. Um, yeah, not great. But anyway, if you've never seen a goofy looking novelty lure that's been Texas rigged, you can thank your old Uncle Redneck Preppy because here's your treat for the day. Uh, I'll be interested to see if line twist is actually a thing thanks to this swivel when I get a chance to actually fish this. Uh, after watching the official video online, the one ounce one eighth ounce nail weight uh, actually goes into a hole. I don't know if you can see that at the bottom of the lure, uh, which allows you to then fish this in deeper depths like a jig. The instructions don't even mention this hole. So I suppose you're supposed to just figure it out on your own or accidentally notice as I did. So there you go, that's, there's where it goes. Now, normally I'd uh, be annoyed that they only included one hook, one swivel, and a uh, weight in a package with four, um, you know, separate soft plastics. But I imagine most anglers are going to have all of these in their tackle box. That said, kind of cheapen out. Yay, Roland Martin is proud of me today. So after all that, is the helicopter lure dead?
Well, yes. Although you can find them on places like I mentioned, eBay. They haven't manufactured one of these things in decades. That said, some have refused to let it die. A few years ago, Roland Martin himself made a video uh, showing him catch fish with the lure. A small part of me is actually pleased that the man who is the face of the lure and the credited inventor still has some of them in his fishing tackle box. I wonder though if he actually uses them during tournaments. And so that's my plan. As I record this, this uh, bass is closed on most of the lakes around me, so I won't be able to get to fish these for a while. But stay tuned in the near future where I do a helicopter lure challenge and see if I can catch fish with these. At any rate, I hope you found today's video to be vaguely entertaining and mildly informative. As always, I hope you manage to catch fish regardless of what fad lure you throw. Take care and bye-bye.